Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Ferrum Wrestling 411. I'm your host Gary Holden, Assistant AD and Sports Information Director. With me as always is our Head Wrestling Coach Nate Yetzer and our 285 pound wrestler, Sophomore Tate Delaney. Welcome fellas. Hey Gary, how you doing? Uh, big talk of the town right now. Going to the uh, NCAA Regionals, hosting it up at the uh, Berglund Center up in Roanoke. Um, tell me a little bit about the, the feeling of the guys, Nate. What's, what's everybody thinking about with, uh, with getting ready for it? I, I think they're excited. You know, we're, we're just taking it one day at a time right now. We're in a pretty hard training phase right now, so I think they're just, uh, you know, just trying to make it day by day and um, you know, not, not too far ahead. But you know, I think uh, it's going to be nice not to have to leave a couple days early and come back a couple days late. And right. it's, it's good for the guys, and a lot of their family and friends can be there. And, uh, we should have a pretty good crowd, so it should be a lot of fun. Good, good. Tate, you guys have got to be excited about wrestling kind of in your hometown. It's not, Roanoke isn't the hometown for Farron, but it's pretty close. Well, yeah. Um, I think the energy of the guys is just right up there right now, peaking at the right time. So it's, it's nice to be around a positive attitude and getting ready for regionals. Well, the, uh, you know, the, we've, we've got 10 guys that go to the regionals from every team. Nate, I'm, I'm correct in assuming we've got 19 teams in the region. I heard one right. won't be coming because the religious school they can't compete on Sunday. So right. potential for an 18-man bracket. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how, how the teams qualify, how, how people qualify to get into the NCAA Division Three tournament. Well, generally, I think it's usually a 16-man bracket. So come, some teams don't have a full lineup, but um, you know, if you, if you place top three, you make it to the nationals. So it's, so it's very competitive, and um, you know, the, the goal is to try to get as many people in the finals as you can, so you don't have sure. to worry about that third and fourth. Yeah. Which we had two twice. We had two guys in for third and fourth, and one for fifth and sixth last year. And um, you know, we, we we got we got we pushed one through and got third. But um, you know, this year, hopefully, uh, you know, I think we're building on last year, and, and you know, it'd be nice to get a couple a uh, couple um, guys in the finals this year, and, and at least get two guys in the nationals. So, you know, the goal is to get two, and um, hopefully, we should pass that. So. Okay. Well, you guys had a great tournament about a month ago. You went out to that tournament out in the Midwest. A lot mm -hmm. of great wrestlers, um, great wrestling programs out there at the uh, Pete Wilson right. uh, Wheaton Invitational. Mm -hmm. You had three guys get on the podium that day. Robert Cunningham, 125 pounds, was a runner-up. Uh, Nick Rodriguez, 197 pounds, was fourth place. And Tate here was seventh place. Right. So um, that had to be a good, uh, you know, could that be an indication for you that, that we're wrestling well down the stretch here? Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. We can't, we, you know, we, we got stuck up there, came back, got some guys are injured and sick and, and didn't have a lot. Last couple weeks haven't been that great. But um, I think we're, uh, I think, you know, we had a, uh, about 15 days till regionals when, once after that last match. I think it gave our guys a little time to heal up and, and get back on track. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I think the attitudes were good. They just I think we were kind of beat up and, you know, a little uh, sick and all that stuff. So, but I mean, it's no excuse. We still got to keep keep uh, keep working and um, not. You know, I think uh, I think our best is yet to come this year. So, I mean, it was a good tournament. I think we wrestled pretty well. I mean, we did better than last year. So that's all you that's all you look for is to you know build each year. You know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. what we're doing. So. You know, well, it seems as though this time of year always, you know, the weather seems to throw a loop into right, everything. Yeah. And, and recently, we're looking out the windows here, and all our fields are covered with snow. Uh, fortunately, wrestling's an indoor sport and everything. We do a lot of running and training outdoors right. as well, and uh, that's got to be a little bit of a factor. I uh, guess the great part is that you're not going to have to drive up into Pennsylvania through snow-covered highways right, yep. or anything. Yep, absolutely. I mean, yes, it's all part of it. And, you know, it's, we're winter sports, so. Um, I, I just look at it, you know, I, I look at that adversity as, as, as an opportunity, you know, to, to prove how, I don't know, how tough we are, you mm -hmm. know, the, how resilient we are. And um, I always look at it as, uh, those things as opportunities and not really, a, you know, as some adversity, I guess, you know, sure. and just, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. And it's outside our control. So sure. um, just got to get uh, worried about, um, you know, each guy getting better and that's all you can do. Tate, tell me how the, the talk amongst the wrestlers, are a lot of them uh, feeling as though they feel good, pretty good going into the regionals? Yeah, um, like Coach was saying, we, we have been kind of beat up and a little sick the past couple of weeks. But um, as of right now, the majority of the team is ready and chomping at the bit to get out there. Mm -hmm. How is your weight class this year? you got a pretty pretty stout-looking uh, field at, at 285? Um, to be honest, I don't really look much into like stats and rankings and stuff. It just kind of gets in my head, so I really don't know. Get out there and just go wrestle. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. good, good. That's a great. That's, our, that's our job, I guess. Yeah. You know, our job is to make sure he knows who's you know. But uh, he's uh, yeah. I mean, the, the guys are. I mean, right now they're they're probably all sore and tired. You know, like I said, we're we're on a, a four, our fourth day of training pretty hard, and um, you know, we got one more hard uh, day of training tomorrow, and then they, then next week's you know pretty light, just getting 
our cells healed up, feeling good, get our weight under control, ready to go for for next Sunday. So I'm guessing um, you'll be on the road. You and Coach uh, Bradley both be right. on the road. The yep. state tournaments, uh, one of the state tournaments, or four of the state tournaments, the single through four A in right. Salem, and then the other ones, the five and sixes, are up at uh, Robinson High School up in Northern Virginia. Right. Yeah. Guess you guys will be on the road looking at those. Yeah, Brandon's gonna be going down to North Carolina, the North Carolina State tournaments this weekend as well, and um, and I'm gonna be hitting both or all three of them actually, the independent states, the five uh, A, six A, and then the one in Salem as well too. I'm gonna be okay. at all three. Them, so well, then you come back, train for one more week, and then it's and get pretty after much it. yep, yep. getting then, after it. Then sits. we go. I mean, I think then we got regionals from the following weekend after that. Is, is we have, um, I think I go to New Jersey states, you know, okay. and then the weekend after that we go to the NCAA's. The weekend after that we got high school nationals, so it never ends. But this is the fun part of year, man. This is what the whole year is all about. So sure. recruiting going well for you this year. Uh, pretty good, you know. You know, us being a Division three private school, usually our, our recruiting is usually late, so like mm-hmm. oh, it'll really pick up um, probably right after our NCAA. So it'll start really picking up. Actually, a little bit, a little bit before that, okay. we'll start having kids that, here on, on campus, and um, you know, and um, so that's usually when you know, we're probably a little down than we were last year, but just for the fact that um, you know our, we got a full roster now, you know, versus before we were, you know. You know, we didn't have full roster, so they, you know, um, we don't have to recruit as much, I guess. Sure, sure. Well, and it must be nice too to be able to pepper in younger wrestlers with older wrestlers and everything, and kind yeah. of get a little bit of a different mix. You've got some leadership next year, Tate. You and a number of guys will be juniors, and uh, you know, getting ready to go in towards the last half of your careers. Right. And that's got to be exciting for you as a coach to be able to have that type of leadership. Right, right. I think we do got some leaders emerging, so which is nice, you know. And I, mean, I didn't think we'd have four freshmen starting this year. We do have four freshmen now. Mm-hmm. And, Kind of like so, last year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's kind of, but you know, it's it, it's good. It means you know you get some uh, more talent coming in, and, and sure. uh, I mean, heck, we got four freshmen starting, but then we also got another two or three, or probably more than that actually, that that are you know that that could help us out. I mean, next year right right yeah. away. So um, I, I think it's good. I mean, we're definitely uh, heading in the right direction. So, and we got a couple kids on the docket where I think you know if we if we, if we get them, I think it'd be a huge. Good, good, good recruits. So, right. We'll see. Well, we're excited about the tournament and everything. We'll have you back on the show next week, Coach, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some last-minute uh, tune-ups and everything, and maybe get an update on the lineup, see how things are going. Yep. Tate, want to wish you well at the tournament this year. I hope you do uh, well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys wrestle up there. Looking forward to it. Great. Well, Coach, we'll see you back here next week. Thanks, Gary. Folks, thanks for being with us. We'll be back here in one week from today. I'm Gary Holden. Thanks for being with us.